What's up, fellas? You are now tuned in to the Trick Lessons Podcast, and I'm your host, Mr. trick the number one trick on the internet. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. And make sure that you share this video with brothers because so many brothers need to see this video. Now, uh, if you guys are subscribed to my Blackmail First Media channel, you'll know that I just got done doing about an hour and a half live looking stream at Angry Man's live stream. And he said a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of straw man arguments, a whole bunch of nonsensical silliness. But he said something that was interesting and I wanted to take the opportunity to challenge that notion in this video. Angry Man said, basically he tried to equate tricks to Pookie and Rayway, Ray Ray. And the way that he tried to equate the two was by saying, well, tricks are committing crimes. Pookie and Ray Ray is committing crimes. They're doing the same thing. So therefore they're the same people. And I'm going to take this video. I'm going to use this video to debunk that entire notion, you guys, okay? So if you're looking at the screen right now, um, this is a website from some random lawyer, some random California lawyer, and I'm going by California law because that's where I live, okay, you guys? So what you're looking at is the penalties for getting caught tricking, okay? It is up to six months in jail, not prison, but jail, and a fine of up to a thousand dollars. So that means that basically six months is the highest you can get and a thousand dollars is the highest amount of fine of a fine that you can pay. In most cases, you're not going to serve that much time. You're probably gonna serve a suspended sentence. And if you do get a fine, more times than not, it's not going to equal a thousand dollars. You may not even have to pay a fine if you have a decent enough public defender in most cases. That's right, I said public defender because in these type of cases, you don't even need, I doubt very seriously that you would need to hire a lawyer if you get caught tricking. I would just use a basic public defender and go from there. And if you're an educated and productive black man and you get caught tricking, more than more likely than not, you do not have a criminal past. You do not have a criminal history. And if you do not have a criminal history, then guess what? You, you may just end up uh, doing uh, community service and that'll be it in most cases. Now, they do have uh, penalties for a second and third offense, mandatory minimum 45 days. Third offense, mandatory minimum of 90 days. But it's like I told you guys in a prior video, the odds of getting caught for this is so rare. You can hit a hole in one at Pebble Beach before you get caught tricking. I've said that before. I stand by that, okay? So that is the penalty for getting caught tricking. Now, what is the penalty for a crime that Pookie and Ray Ray would typically commit. Well, let's take a look at it. Okay. Capital murder. Oh, well, look at that. Well, well, before capital murder, let's just take a look at first degree murder. PC 187. Snoop Dogg made a song about it. 187 on an undercover cop. I'm sure Angry Man is familiar with that. So PC 187, first degree murder, carries... 25 years to life in state prison. If it's a hate crime, the penalty is LWAP. That's what we call it here in California, LWAP. Life without a possibility of parole. Okay? Then we have capital murder. Capital murder is California's most serious homicide. The punishment is the death penalty. The choice of a lethal do dose of gas or intravenous injection of a lethal substance or 
life in prison without the possibility of parole. So it's either one of those two, death penalty or life without the possibility of parole, LWAP. Okay. And second degree murder carries uh, a penalty of 15 years to life in state prison. Okay. And, and as it says right here, but some factors can increase the sentence. Okay. So let's look at another crime right here. And what we're looking right here is uh, uh, the, the penal code penalties for rape in the state of California. Rape is a felony that can be punished by up to eight years in prison. In addition, there could be an additional three to five years in prison if the victim sustains great bodily injury or uh, a possible strike under the California's three strikes law. If the victim is a minor under 18, the defendant can be sentenced up to 11 years in prison. And if the victim is under 14, the prison, uh, the prison sentence would increase up to, would increase to 13 years. Additionally, a rape conviction would trigger the lifetime sex offender regist registration requirement. Okay, so let's look. So now that we got done looking at murder and rape, let's look at another one. This one is the penalties for robbery. Okay, if the robbery was committed on the on the driver or passenger of a commercial vehicle in someone's home, or on a person who was just left in, who just left an ATM machine. The defendant could be charged with first degree robbery, which carry a prison sentence of up to nine years. All robberies are punishable up to five years in prison. OK, and the offense is the offense is a strike under the California's three strikes law. OK, <laughs> now, why am I showing you guys? the penalties of tricking compared to the penalties of these serious crimes. Well, we let me back up and just say this. There are pookies out there who trick, but for the sake of this video, for the sake of this video, let's just be realistic about it. The majority of pookies are not tricking. They're using game. So the majority of Black men who are tricking are educated and productive black men, okay? They are black men with some resources, okay? So we're talking about black men with resources versus <coughs> pookies who are largely responsible for the crime in the black community, these types of crimes, okay? So we're comparing a crime that an educated and productive black man would could possibly get caught for versus what a pookie could get caught for or what a pookie typically could get caught for. The penalties, you guys, for tricking is so menial compared to a murder, rape, or robbery, it's ridiculous. If society really thought that tricking was on the level of murder, rape, and robbery, then why isn't the penalties for tricking up there with murder, rape, and robbery? There's a reason for that. That's because the people, the legislators, okay, they don't think that tricking is a danger to the public the way that murder, rape, and robbery is. And these are tip and murder, rape, and robbery are typically the crimes that Pookie gets caught for. Okay, that Pookie is typically charged for a crime with. Okay. Now let's look at something else. I wanted to make that point just to point out, you know, what tricks are doing and what Pookie is doing. Now I'm going to point out the impact, the financial impact on the economy okay you guys and i am on a website called uh have okay 
And it is, what I have here is a study on prostitution revenue by country. Okay. The total prostitution revenue worldwide is $186 billion. Okay. And in the United States alone, the revenue is $14.6 billion. Now, some of that is prostitution I would not agree with. So we'll just call it $10 billion. We'll just assume that tricks especially the ones who are educated and productive black men, uh, contribute 10 billion, they are contributing as part of a $10 billion effort to the United States economy. So whether it is our taxes, whether it is us going to the store, or whether, it, whether it's us investing in our businesses or any um, investment assets, or tricking, we are always contributing positively to society, even when we commit crimes. Have you noticed that? Okay. Now let's look at the impact of Pookie's crimes on society. Now this is a government website and it is the U.S. Government Accountability Office. And this is a study of the cost of crimes now, I read this entire thing and they talked about, you know, basically there being no clear method. So the amount that they gave below is an estimate, but it is the only estimate that we can go by that I have found so far that comes from a government resource. And it says right here, researchers have estimated varying annual costs of crime, including totals of. $690 billion, $1.57 trillion, or $3.41 trillion adjusted to 2016 dollars. <laughs> Those are the varying totals that they found for crime caused in the United States. And you cannot say, well, you got to throw tricking in there because that's a crime too. No, we just went to this website. This website says that we're contributing at, le at least $10 billion to the economy and at the max, almost $15 billion to the economy. This number, these numbers that we're looking at right here, $690 billion, $1.57 trillion or $3.41 trillion, that is crimes committed by Pookie. That's the financial impact on our economy from crimes committed by Pookie, not the educated and productive black male who has low to zero criminality. This is the chronic criminals. This is the career criminals, Pookie and Ray Ray, who are causing this carnage. So when Angry Man attempts to, attempts to compare uh, tricking to the serious criminal acts of Pookie. I just want you guys to look at this video and really understand and balance out the 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 impacts of both type of both crimes that both groups commit. Now, some of you might say, well, a crime is a crime, Mr. Trickslot. True. True. But we have to look at the impact of the crime, the penalty against the person and the impact to the community, because a crime just doesn't impact uh, the, the the person committing it or the victim. It, it commits, it, it impacts the entire greater community. And when we looked at, um, when we looked at the laws and we looked at the, the studies of economic impacts, we can see here that at least the tricks, at least the tricks com um contribute positively to the economy, whereas the Pookies, crimes committed by the Pookies is costing our economy, our United States economy, trillions of dollars. So I just wanted to point that out. So if he, if, if Angry Man or anybody else tries to make that comparison, you guys direct them to this video so that they are they are educated and they have an understanding that tricking is not the same type of crime as the crimes that Pookie and Ray Ray commit. Okay, 
buying a $50 Escort is not the same as doing a drive-by, robbing a grocery store, or, or having your way with some woman without her consenting. Okay, it is not even on the same level. It's not even in the same universe in terms of impact, and I just proved it. That's going to be it from this video, you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you hit the bell, and make sure that you share this video with brothers because brothers need an understanding on this. And remember, you guys, if you ain't tricking, you ain't trying. Peace.